heading out to the airport now, to Cairns Airport, to pick up Holly. Holly Harris, my partner in the mixed event. Um, first time we're meeting as well, so hopefully we get on and then we can ride together, I guess. <laughs> Holly and I finally got to meet, which was cool. Um, bit of nerves in the cars. Once the cameras went off, we got a ch chance to sort of close the doors and chat. It's like, all right, how are you feeling? Are you ready for this? She's like, feeling a bit nervous. I said, don't worry, I'm no expectations. I'm like, great, we can just race. What are you gonna do? What's your, what's your trick, Holly? So I'm just gonna cut a little slice in here so it can sit under that. And like that, you know, you really need to meet and just understand each other. There's something different than talking on the phone. And actually the whole week has just been about working out each other how we ride, but also the personality. That's a big part, I think, of teams racing. And speaking of the other mixed teams pairs, you know, they're all partners and they know each other very well. You know, Holly and I to meet on the first day, suddenly work together, race together. I think we've done an awesome job this week. I'm getting really nervous for some reason. Like I'm supposed to be relaxed having fun, but um, it's always the way, isn't it? I think just that long morning getting ready for it, it'll be good. Great weather, not too hot, a bit windy, but we won't feel the wind up there. Let's do it. So we went through all that single track and, and Holly really had me on the limit. Um, on the uphill, I could push her a little bit, but the rest of the time I was just following her through, and I thought, oh, this is going to be a tough week. It's hard, you know, it was hard following her. I didn't know really how to help any other way. All I could do was just follow her through the single track. It was actually very good for me to follow her and learn the lines and, and have that trust in her that when she aired over a, a jump, I was like, cool, I guess I'll be airing that jump too. That was a hard 17, 18 K, however far it is. She is a demon on the downhill. I'm just struggling to keep up. He did it, he was awesome. Like pushed me so hard up the hill. I think we warmed into it really well. Yeah. Like I think like we had a few like a bit of a like the start was a bit weird but then we like got in our flow and we're good. I thought like so good. Yeah, I was so happy. Second on day one, I was surprised with second on day one. I thought, wow, we're actually in the mix. I didn't dare look across and see if I knew anyone. I was like, I gotta watch what I'm doing here. I'm doing a really bad job here, but it's just about morale. The bike looks clean, better, but also this is a bit more of a logistical thing. We're putting it in the car. So the bikes need to be clean in the car. So this is how the pros, pro mechanics do it overseas. This is what they get paid the big bucks for. Just to hold, hold a hose like this and just spray away. Many mechanics are going to be very disappointed with that. That comment from me. I'm actually feeling the legs considering it was only 18k. It was necessary. We had to just get this thing started. Still a lot to work out together, but so far so good. Actually, not a lot, is there? Yeah. yeah. As a team, team morale's going well, blending Mate, well. We're second. What more could you want? Stage two. Got a bit of a drive. Um, actually, Holly, where, where are we driving to? Um, Davies Creek. Davies Creek, that's right. Davies Creek. Um, it's early bit earlier than yesterday but we got it done first part of the day success I'm gonna just stay behind I thought I've been instructed from some other guy partners I've asked them how do you do it they said no let the girls lead and then you can just sort of help them if they're ever gonna get dropped or anything um, and let them show the way hit the trails there's no point you smashing through a trail and realizing that she's not there actually it's probably never gonna happen with Holly she's gonna be in front of me anyway
crash on day two, and I'll, look, we we rode awesome. We got back to the leaders, but we absolutely killed ourselves getting back there. And so we blew up at the end and we ended up with third. But we're still in the mix. It's hectic. It's good though. We rode back to the front, but when we used all our, our bickies getting there and then we lost the front, but Holly went so deep just to see her push herself. Unbelievable. Oh, Mitch like dragged me all the way to the finish. So it was pretty tough. Very tough. Holly, she dug deep today. Like was, I was going hard too, but I could tell she was just really giving everything and it's it sort of like inspires you a bit more, you know, just to really try and help as much as you can or it's just, it's good to see like athlete mentality, to see another athlete go deep. I think that's the special thing about these events is that, you know, they're not the whole day and there are in those destinations that, like I said, I'd never been to before. So like even after stage two, Ella, who's a friend of Holly's, she said, there's actually this cool swimming area. So we boosted up the climb and this beautiful infinity, natural infinity pool, waterfall swimming hole. And we all just relaxed there. It was beautiful. If you just take a bit of initiative when you're on these trips too, that's what it's about. Sure, racing, meeting new people, but also seeing the area. Oh. Starting to get a bit sore, a bit tired. Only two days in. A bit stiff. Yep. But the long day today though, suit me better. We've only done, what? 60k. You flat. <laughs> yeah. And I'm feeling tired. God, how weak's that? No, but it's different mountain biking. I'm finding that out very quickly. I reckon, you know, I want to just get through today trouble free. Be with the front guys and girls, and then plan our assault tomorrow. And that's our best plan, I reckon, because, you know, fourth day, I reckon my legs are going to still be going all right. Probably fine tune our system today and then hit them tomorrow. Stage three, it was, it was a bunch start. I was loving it. Roll in the bunch, you know, I could, I rode up to the front, had a chat. I was like, this just feels like old times. We wanted to stay with the leaders, and then unfortunately Holly had a small crash, um, just going down this, this rut. Oh what? You okay? Good save. Something she probably would never have done, but I think that pressure I was hard on her wheel, putting the pressure on. We rode really solidly afterwards and didn't lose a lot of time at the end of the day. And weirdly, I got this, this sort of sense of serenity. You know, we broke away. People got dropped from us. We lost the front, but we were just together. Out on the trails, we could do our thing, whatever it was. There was a lot of pacing yesterday because the roads were bigger. So we could just pace. We weren't trying to push over our limit, trying to hang on to someone. We could ride our pace and communicate really well. A big round of applause to Big Soccer and Holly Harris. Just, yeah, you can feel the days adding up. My back, my back is so sore. I'm not, I'm not tuned for it anymore. I've turned soft. Stick around with me, Mitch. I'll teach you a few things. <laughs> I really only knew a few riders. I knew a lot of names, but just to sort of meet them and put the names in place, it's been great. Like it's, again, very, very different to the road scene. You are never going to catch up with them for a beer after the race down the pub or even have dinner. We all just had dinner together most nights talked about the race, what we're going to do tomorrow. 
that atmosphere doesn't exist for me anyway in the road scene and i loved it you know once the once the numbers came on it was aggressive racing and we got into it That was nice, actually. It was really weird because we got on the bus and it was just like, it felt like night. I felt like I was asleep. And suddenly we're here. And it's like, ding, it's the day. It's beautiful. Right, we'll find the truck. Success. It's all part of the fun, isn't it? Made it up safely. Looks like it's pretty good. Seat goes down. Let's get into it. Beautiful weather again. I'm looking forward to getting down now, point to point. Looking forward to getting it done. Yes and no. It's been really fun. So here we go. Let's do this. I really do love the point to point too. I don't know if it's for everyone, but there was a sense of achievement. You're like, every K, you're getting there, you're getting there, we're going to arrive at the beach. Always nice starting high. We drop down that sort of last 10K, winding through the, the town, and we popped out on the beach. That was awesome. Rolling along the beach, we knew we were safe from anyone coming from behind. There was no one in front to catch. And Holly and I sat up with about a K to go. I looked across at her and said, should we just cruise in? And we cruised in and just sort of debriefed the day and just enjoyed it. It was quite magical, wasn't it, finishing like that? It's pretty friggin' majestic, you're yeah. just like riding in. Yeah, it's not bad, not bad. I think anything sort of flies. If you want to have a few beers, that's also okay. If you want to smash a protein shake and you know get your rice in, that's cool too. But I think the general feel is, it's pretty cruisy. You know, you can chat to someone and no one's, there's no, no judgement. It's been a great opening one. Um, I've enjoyed having some cold beers. I'm gonna celebrate this, but actually, I'm looking forward to Cape to Cape because it's the big show up there. And actually now I'm understanding the, the weight of the belt buckle, not the physical weight of it, but what it means to actually get that. So I'm pretty happy. I'm in a good spot. I guess let's just kick on. Here we go, Cape to Cape.